just a couple things about this guided meditation. I use the word see a ton, but uh, let your mind reinterpret that uh, to feel, smell, touch, know, whatever. I'm a very visual person, so I tend to use that word a lot, but I really mean any kind of knowing. One thing you might want to do for this meditation is just set yourself up so that you can pause if you need more time to reflect on part of what you're discovering. If nothing comes to you during one part of the trance or another, don't worry about it. It might come later, after the trance, as you reflect on your experience or, you know, while you're doing dishes or whatever. It's all relevant information no matter when it comes up. The trance is really just an invocation to open up the communication between your hidden powers and your conscious sense of self. So the trance will end, but that's just the beginning of your discoveries. Uh, you also might unlock some difficult emotions, so you can come back at any time. Also, you can banish any apparitions that you don't want information from. If something shows up in your mind that you're not ready for, just ask it, say thank you. I'm really I'm not interested in hearing from you right now. And over time, you'll realize that in the mind's eye, in the seat of your imagination, you have unlimited power over everything that comes your way. So don't be afraid. Settle into a comfortable position in a safe place. And safe means somewhere that you won't be disturbed. This is going to be a light trance, so you probably won't fall asleep. Just find a position in which you're comfortable. And this could be in an armchair, could be laying on the floor, in a bed. And know that you can move around and adjust your position if you find at any point that there's a way that you could be more relaxed or more comfortable. Get super, super comfy and cozy and settle into your breath. <sighs> Let it be a guide. Use it to search through your body as you breathe. Use your breath to relax. Scan your body. And if you find places where you're holding a little stress or tension, just relax it and let it out. Find the gentle rhythm of breathing in and the relaxation that comes from breathing out. Let your thoughts fall away and physical sensations of comfort and tranquility replace them. Let there be nothing but the soft sound of air passing in and out through your nose. And even that, you don't have to pay any attention to. You can just let your thoughts float away, loosening, relaxing, feeling good, trusting your body to take over the task of breathing. Trusting your body to know what is good for you. Feel a sense of the outline of your body, all the places it touches the air, the floor, your chair, your clothes, how it holds the world away from you, protecting you, keeping your life force on the inside. See it without judgment. It's a vessel that connects you to this world. Feel sensations. What's wet? What's dry? What's warm? What's cool? 
That's all information your body is bringing to you through your skin, your eyes, your ears, your nose, and yes, your mouth. See your body in your mind's eye. See it curled up and resting like a baby, innocent and vulnerable and chubby like a Buddha and sleeping next to you, resting until it's needed to do the work of living your life. Let it expand to huge proportions like a mountain next to you, like a giant statue of a sleeping goddess. And let this place where you stand next to it become sacred ground, a place to go for worship, a place you can come to pray and have your needs heard, a place to bring your hopes, dreams, wishes, and where you find relief from your fears. In your mind's eye, kneel before this body, this body created by your mother and father, so like the bodies of all the millions of other people in the world, all sizes, so much more alike than different, with their lungs, their hearts, forests of branching blood vessels carrying food and oxygen to their cells. The body that encases your spirit's journey through time, through life, bow down to it and give it a moment of gratitude. It is an instrument of great magic through which all your deepest knowing travels. It is the greatest and most miraculous gift. Now make an offering to the great spirit that is your body. Find what you want to offer in your pocket and lay it down beside the resting form. Remember this temple so you can call on it at any time. Now rise and turn to find shifting sands ahead of you, dunes. Without your body, it's not hot or cold. You move easily to the top of the nearest dune and from there you can see a distant mirage, some kind of water perhaps, you set out for it. And as you get closer, you can see that it's real. There are dwellings and people. And as you enter their camp, you see all around the people, almost crowding them out, are the illusions they create. As you come closer, you can see each of the people projecting their fears and hopes onto each other. As you move deeper into the crowd, you see someone you know, someone important to you. Do you recognize one of the forms they take? Now see them as they are to you. They won't recognize you without your body. How does this change your relationship? What can you say to them now that you never could in your physical form? In this world of your imagination, you can scream it directly into their mind. 
they can't stop this voice of yours, the one without words or vocal cords, the one in their mind. They can't help knowing whatever it is you want them to know. They can't hurt you, touch you, see you, but they know the truth you scream in their mind. And now you can know their truth too. The secrets they have kept from you are written in their eyes. What do you want to know that they would never reveal? Ask it now and see the answer in their eyes. See into them. See all the truths they've been hiding. What drives them? What makes their lives difficult? See them as the child they were. What shaped them into who they are now? When you are done, remember from this experience whatever serves you to know. When they walk away, you will find on the ground something they left behind, something you can benefit from. It was theirs, now it belongs to you. What is this thing? Put it in your pocket. Remember this moment when you see this thing in the material plane? This is a magical gift you can claim that gives you a power that was theirs. When you're ready, glide away, moving again through the shifting sands until you find yourself sitting on the top of a dune, watching the sunrise. You become aware of a huge form sitting next to you, sharing your view. It's there with you always. You know this form. It's not your body. It's all the fat you wrap around your body to keep you safe from the world. It's your safety blanket. Safe from hunger. Safe from stress. It keeps you safely hidden in the secret world beneath your fat where no one can see you. No one can reject you. No one even knows you're there. Safe from heartbreak. Safe from tragedy. It's a comfort and an old friend. As you sit with your fat, you'll hear words on the wind. It's your friend talking to you in the magical light of the morn. What does it say? Your fat, which has been there for you all this time, is thinking of leaving you. How will you say goodbye to your old friend? What do you hope your old friend will say to you? As the sun rises, your fat slowly melts into the dune, its love for you disappearing between grains of sand. How will you continue without your trusted friend? You see it's left a gift for you to help protect you when it's gone, something you can use in your ritual design. 
See what it is. Take it with you. Now that your friend is gone, you travel again, gliding along dune crests and valleys until you come to a sign, blown sideways and half buried by the winds. It's a trail marker, and one arrow points to sweet and delicious, and the other to salty, savory. Choose your path and follow it, winding down to the dune to a table with all your favorite foods laid out in sumptuous piles. All your favorite foods are there and even ones that you have yet to discover. Every kind of oral delight has gathered in your honor and they sing to you. They sing of comfort and goodness. They sing of the warmth of your mother's arms. They sing of a full belly and easy sleep. They sing that you must be a powerful king or queen to enjoy such riches. And they sing of other things too, messages that are all your own. Hear how they sing, how they harmonize, what each dish says to you. Let them sing, let them bring joy. Find the foods you love and hear their souls and learn from them. Why do you need them? How do they help? What wounds do they fix? What stress do they push aside? Let each one sing to you and tell you the secrets they hide why successes and attention are dangerous for you. Let each one reveal a piece of the puzzle, a stone to build your path home. The first song might take time to hear, to distinguish from the rest. It might take time to unravel the emotions and accept them back into your soul. The emotions you claim will reveal your way home. Each one becomes a stone, a piece of the puzzle with which you will build your road back to your body. As you kneel there, let your awareness come back into your body. Feel your breath again. See if you can hear your heartbeat. And become aware of the space around you, the air and the sounds. Come back into the here and now. Come back to this moment, into wakefulness bringing with you a sense of energy and confidence. I'll count backwards from three to one and give you a clap. And when I'm done, you'll be fully awake and fully alert. Three, start to move your fingers and toes. Remember everything that's helpful to you from this journey. Two, take a deep inhale and stretch. Oh. One, open your eyes and you are done.